that you stressful situation? I think that is. Like remove I yourself from? Yeah, that's. <laughs> it would take the blood pressure of the Easter Bunny after the fact. See how he's really doing. That's tough. That's tough. <laughs> hey, okay, I almost got blown over this morning, yeah. Haley. Seriously, it's I got winter. in the wind tunnel it's or something, winter. and yeah. it was intense. We have so much to talk about. There's three separate sections of the weather that I have to break down for you. So we're going to go over everything right now. We're going to start with the showers and thunderstorms. We had a few storms earlier. Some of them even dropped P nickel size hail into DeKalb County, uh, Kane County that moved up into Wisconsin now and the storm just to the west or north now of Rockford has a little bit of hail with it, but that's not going to be a problem for us. Now we are going to sit quiet for several hours and even see a little bit of clearing there. We'll have some high clouds out there, but a little bit of clearing with some sunshine and you think, okay, today's not going to end up too bad after all. Well, we have another line of showers and thunderstorms that are going to move in from the west. You can see it right here. It's going to be along the cold front of the storm system. That's going to push in later on tonight. So let's look at our storm cast. Come with me here looking at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. You can see there may be a shower out ahead of it, but the main line is going to hold off until the end of your evening commute. So 6 o'clock in the evening, here it is marching into the state, and then it's going to move into the western edge of the viewing area. Here's 8 o'clock in the evening, and then it's going to continue to spread to the east, 9 o'clock, then closer to the lake in the city by midnight tonight, and then going into northwest Indiana, completely out of here by the time we get into 3, 4 o'clock in the morning tomorrow for northwest Indiana. And the Storm Prediction Center is watching this and has some of us in a marginal risk, others in a slight risk. So what does that mean? It means there's scattered severe storms possible. So if we look here, here are the yellow colors that we just talked about. Here's the marginal risk. Here's the slight risk. And if we zoom in close, many of our counties along and south of I-88 and in Illinois side are in this slight risk for severe weather. So we need to watch for scattered severe storms. So what, what are our main threats that we're looking for? Damaging winds is the highest threat. I mean, we have the wind advisory. The storms are really going to move. They're going to move at 50 to 60 miles per hour. And we have a chance for hail, lightning, heavy rainfall. Now, the tornado risk is low. It's not non-existent, but it is low. So we will keep an eye on that. And flooding is not really going to be too much of an issue. If we're looking at the rainfall forecast through tomorrow afternoon after the storm system exits, it's anywhere from about a half inch to three quarters of an inch of rain before it's set all said and done. All right, that's the storm side. Now let's talk about the wind side. Wind advisory in the orange counties here highlighted through 12 o'clock for the spots farther to the the west and then for the rest of the day through about eight o'clock for most of us. Thursday, one o'clock, Lakeshore Drive or Lakeshore Flood Advisory in the green. Wow, look at these winds out of the west or out of the east, 25 to 40 miles per hour. That's going to continue throughout the length of this storm system all the way through the overnight hours before this storm starts to exit. What does that mean for our temperatures? Here's the other side of the story. Temperatures right now 54 degrees in Kankakee compared to 41 in Waukegan, 39 in Rockford. 47 at Midway Airport. This is actually a little bit warmer than it was yesterday. By the time we get to 4 o'clock in the afternoon, look at this. That front, the warm front's going to lift north. Some of us are going to be in the warm sector. It just depends on how far north that warm front gets. 55 at O'Hare by 4 o'clock, 75 in Kankakee. Now, some of us are going to continue to warm till 9, 10 o'clock before that cold front actually arrives. So some locations along Interstate 80, north to Interstate 88, could end up near 60 degrees before we start to fall back. But it, it depends on where you live how warm you're going to get today. Then if you look at the extended forecast, cooler temperatures as we go into Friday, 53 degrees, 54 as we go into Saturday, so both days are going to be dry. Our next storm system moves in as we go into Sunday, and that one we have to watch for a rain and snow mix once again throughout the day. Temperatures struggling to get to 40 degrees. A quick break before another storm system moves in as we go into the Tuesday, Wednesday time frame. Just, guys, a very active forecast as we move forward. Remember to download the NBC Chicago app. This is the type of day especially that you need it. A lot to keep track of. All right, thanks, Kaylee.